Fox, and I'm here today with another unboxing, and I'm really excited about this one. This company is called Treats, and their tagline is Explore the World Through Food, and what they do different from every other subscription food box that I've done, like, reviewed so far, is that instead of sending you Japanese treats every month, or Korean treats every month, or whatever, they send you a different country or place every month so that way you get a whole range of flavors and things to try and I find that really exciting. That's what I'm kind of most interested in with subscription boxes is getting a new experience every time so it's like a cool surprise where I really have no idea what I'm getting. So Treats did contact me, they asked if I would do an unboxing, they sent this to me for free. I got to choose between a bunch of countries and places to try a box from. Uh, and I ended up choosing Sweden. So, let's get to it. Um, I was really lazy and didn't want to put in contacts, so you guys have to deal with Dweeby Fox today. It's fine. Maybe. I'm sorry. <laughs> so on the Treats website, there are a choice between two different boxes. There's the standard box, which is $13.95 a month, and you get four to six treats. And then there's also the premium box, which is $25.95, and you get eight to 12 snacks per box. So I got this box within like, I think it was like two days, which is crazy. It came wrapped in this. Um, I'm not gonna show you the website because it has my address, but uh, it was funny because it came wrapped like this, and I've never had a subscription box come wrapped like this. Usually you can see the logo and stuff on the outside. So when I got this, I was like, what, what is this? Uh, who, what did I order online? And then I was like, oh, it says it's from Treats. This is my box. So that was kind of cool because I was so surprised that I was like, whoa. Opening the box, this is your first look and you get a really cool postcard. And the postcard says, greetings from Treats. This month's treats come to you from Sweden. In your box, you will find a range and variety of treats from healthy treats like raspberry lemongrass flavored pastilles to playful treats like the black licorice pipe. Okay, I don't know how I feel about that. You will also find treats that are household names in Sweden such as Kex wafers, ballerina cookies, and more. There's something in here for everyone. But it's this cool postcard and it says reindeer sledding in Sweden and it's got that cool picture which I think is really cute because if you get a lot of boxes you can collect the postcards and keep them. Okay, so first impressions. It looks really cool, it looks really nice. There's a lot of variety of stuff. Um, and so there's a what's in my box pamphlet, which is great if you have allergies or can't eat certain things. For those of you who don't know, I am a vegetarian, so I can't eat certain things. Um, but from looking at this, there's nothing I have to worry about this box, which is fantastic. Oh, I don't even know where to start. All right, we'll go with these. Anna's Ginger Swedish Thins. It is a mix of cinnamon, ginger, and cloves. Uh, I'm not a huge fan of cookies, but I do like ginger, so we will see. These are really cute, I will say. They look like flower petals or snowflakes. Mmm. This is definitely gingerbread, but it's really good. I don't think I've ever had gingerbread that I've actually liked. These are really good. They're really thin, so it's not like a doughy gingerbread cookie. It's like, I don't know, it's like crispy almost. Nice job, Anna. Got this little teeny tiny box. La Carol raspberry lemongrass sugar-free pastilles. They're for soothing dry throat. So is this like a medicine? Should I be eating this? It's like a cute little, kind of like a pill. <laughs> it's got an A on it, which makes me think of the Avengers. Ooh, these are really good. Although I'm kind of worried that it says it's good for soothing dry throats, just because I'm worried that it's similar to like a cough drop and you shouldn't be eating this like it's candy. I do a lot of dumb stuff, so. Moving on, Ballerina Choco. Cookies with a cocoa cream filling. Can I say, I super appreciate that like most of these have English on them because it means I don't have to read this and figure out what it is because it says on here, cookies with a chocolate cream filling. <laughs> Oh, I broke it. Okay, so this is what it looks like. Kind of looks like a chocolate Oreo. Oreos are chocolate. That was a dumb thing to say. Ignore me. I feel like I literally have a pound of chocolate in my teeth. Uh, they were good. They kind of tasted similar to an Oreo, kind of like a richer, better <laughs> Oreo. And um, I like the chocolate filling in the middle. 
That's all I gotta say about it. I don't think this is how it's said, but it looks like it's said, damn, damn. Almond toffee bars covered in a thin layer of milk chocolate. They go great with ice cream, and they're known to be addictive. Okay, so it just looks like chocolate. It's got like a filling in it. Eight years later, still chewing it. Not a huge fan of almond toffee. This isn't bad. I don't really want to eat more, so I wouldn't say that it's, it's addictive. But the first couple bites, where it was still crunchy, were really good. And then I started chewing it, and then it was just like, Meh. Like, the more I ate, the less I liked it. But I could really easily see why it says that it would go well with ice cream. Yeah, I'll we'll give it a meh. Marabou? Marabou? Mara something? <laughs> and it's just chocolate. It's a famous brand of Swedish chocolate with a rich chocolate taste with a hint of car. Chocolate with a chocolate taste? Who would have thought? It smells like regular chocolate. Looks like regular chocolate. That was some good chocolate. It was good. I don't know. <laughs> Everything is just like, that's good. I guess I like Swedish stuff. Gold nougat. Creamy and smooth nougat made with chocolate and hazelnut that melts in your mouth. Now that sounds delicious. Chocolate. Oh my God. Oh my God. First off, that is so creamy. This has a very strong taste of hazelnut. All I can really compare to right now is Nutella or there's like these hazelnut candies that I can't remember the name of that come wrapped in like gold foil. Good, but I also feel like I'm a little dying on sugar right now. Oh, Charlie, do you want to help with the unboxing? Huh? No? You are, why can't you let me use your face to get views? Cat videos do better. Cat, you are so unhelpful. All natural raspberry licorice and it's got a little panda on it. Oh, the brand is Panda. It is a licorice candy bar with a reputation of being healthy, made with all natural ingredients and suitable for vegans. This just, whew, whew, that smells odd. It kind of looks like a fruit leather bar, if you've ever had one. Um, I don't know what they're called anywhere other than the States. Uh, I don't know how I feel. It's not bad, but it's not, Good. I will probably finish eating that, but I don't think I'd ever be like, man, I really want one of those. I wish I had another. I don't know. I know you guys like watching me suffer in unboxing, but this is a pretty good unboxing. Kex! Kex wafer. Chocolate covered wafer filled with chocolate. I feel like that is redundant. So this is what it looks like. It's okay. Nothing special. So we're getting down to the last two items, which I saved for last on purpose. The first is this. I believe it's called Bailar. Bilar, Bilar, they are marshmallow candy in the shape of a car. And I'm pretty sure I've had these before. I was at a con and I met some people from Norway and they had these on them. I think it was these, I don't know if it's any different, but I'm excited to try them. So I wouldn't really say they look like a car because they really don't, but wow, these are kind of terrible. What do they taste like? Cheap bubble gum. Yeah. Uh, why did I eat more? Blah. No. All right, so this is the last item, and I saved it for last because I am both terrified and intrigued. It is a licorice pipe. Licorice pipes by Helis or Helis. They're a delicious black licorice, licorice shaped in the form of a pipe. I have never had black licorice in my life. Some people tell me it's horrifying, so. Ooh. It smells horrifying. So, it looks cool. <laughs> it's kind of funny because it's like, uh huh, but I'm really scared to bite into it. tearing up. We're just gonna close that and never look at it again. <coughs> so I learned that I don't like black licorice. So... Yeah, anyway guys, I hope you enjoyed this unboxing. I will leave a link for this website in the down below. I hope you consider it. 
I do honestly think that this is a really good subscription box because it's so different and I really enjoy that you get a new country every month. So definitely check it out if you're looking for something different. It's like you get a present in the mail every month because you don't know what's in it and it's mostly delicious snacks. Um, except for licorice pipes, don't eat those. Just don't. No, I can still taste it. Anyway guys, my name is Fox. I love you all very, very much and I will see you all very soon. Bye guys. God, that was awful. That licorice. Saw my life flash before my eyes. The rest of this box was so lovely and now I just feel betrayed. Black licorice, who invited you? Why'd you ruin the party? Go away.